My dear beloved people of God, I greet you all in the holy name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I believe you are good in health. May God's gracious hand be upon you. We are on the fourth day of January. Be glad in the Lord. You are in the protection of God. And His glory is going to come out. He's going to reveal Himself in a special way. Even today, the word that God has put into my heart and told me to tell you is from John chapter 7 and verses 38 and 39. The Bible says, He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But he, 39, but this he spoke concerning the spirit whom those believing in him would receive. Yesterday, children of God, I told about the fountain of salvation. And today, I want to say about the river. A river means the anointing. The river of anointing. If I tell you in a different way, the Holy Spirit is identified as a river. River means, you know, it's a river and it flows very fast one thing and secondly wherever the river flows it may be a village or it may be a town or a city i have seen some of the cities in the midst in the middle of that town or river a town or the city both the sides of the city or the village it will be so greenery my dear children of God, wherever this river flows, it will be prosperous. That's what the Bible says. The river called Holy Spirit, the anointing that you have received is like a river. If it has to be like that, you should join yourself with the Holy Spirit and run. You cannot control the anointing. You cannot depend upon the Holy Spirit just for your need. Always depend upon Him. Always be with Him. I tell you, the anointing which is like a river, you will feel it. And you will just go on your way. If anyone says that I will just stand against it or he will sink and he will die. If he can swim, he can swim. But... What I want to say to you is, nobody can stop the anointing. If someone tries to stop, they will receive the anointing. Praise be to God. I have seen many people on my ministry path. My dear people of God. Nowadays, you need to pray to the Holy Spirit and say, You dwell in us, Lord. You are the Spirit like river flowing into my heart. It will flow and your spiritual life should not slow down. Your life of holiness should not slow down. Your financial life should not slow down because the river is going to flow. Amen. Just hold on to this word. Wherever this river flows, it will be prosperous. Your Lord, you're going to give me a prosperous life wherever I go. So, wherever you are, you may be in the house, you may be going to another country, wherever you say you go, God's word is saying that you will be prosperous. Do you believe it? Shall we pray? But one thing what you should do is, you should kindle the spirit of God within you. You should pray. You should speak in tongues. You should fill in spirit. You should worship him. You should pray in the spirit. Speaking in tongues. I tell you, he will just open the floodgates and he will work through you. You will be a blessing to the church. You will be a blessing to the house. You will be a blessing to the family. You will be a blessing to the whole nation. Let me pray for you. Father God, Holy Spirit, you want to flow like a living water in our lives, Lord. Fill your children with the gifts of Spirit, Lord. Goodness and mercy follow them, Lord. Let their house be a house of Holy Spirit, Lord. Let them have healing, health, peace and prosperity in their house, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. 
Amen. Do share this message. You have heard in Hindi and English too. Just share it to many people so that they may be blessed. God bless you. Our address Jesus Meets Ministries, number 4, Kavarapalayam Main Road, Abadi, Chennai 54, India. Telephone number 9841252836, Email ID gpsrobinson at hotmail.com, gps.office at jesusmeets.org. Website address www.gpsrobinson.org.